The salivary glands are responsible for making and releasing a fluid called saliva or spit. Saliva is important for keeping the mouth moist and lubricated, which makes it easier to chew and swallow food. Saliva also keeps the mouth clean, helps to taste food, protects the teeth from decay, and contains enzymes to digest food. There are three main salivary glands, the parotids, submandibular, and sublingual glands. There are two of each, one on each side. There are also hundreds of much of smaller minor salivary glands that are spread throughout the lining of the mouth and throat. The parotid gland is the largest salivary gland and where most salivary gland tumors grow. The nerve that controls the fascial muscles called the fascial nerve runs through the parotid gland. This nerve makes us smile, frown, close the eyes and stress the eyebrows. Fortunately, most parotid tumors are not cancerous. The parotid glands also contain lymph nodes. Sometimes, skin cancers such as squamous cell carcinomas and other skin cancers can spread to the lymph nodes in the parotid gland. Lymph nodes are bean shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defense against infection. Three important nerves are found next to submandibular glands. They give movements, feeling and taste to the tongue and smooth the lower lip. Submandibular glands are the smallest of the major salivary glands that really develop tumors but when they do, they are often cancerous. Cancer that begins in any of the salivary glands is called salivary gland cancer. If cancer develops in a salivary gland, this can cause a lump in front of the ears, under the jaw bone, inside the mouth or in the neck. Sometimes they can cause facial weakness, numbness or pain. Sometimes it may become difficult to open the mouth fully. Most often, these symptoms are not from salivary glands cancer, however, if you have any of these symptoms for more than a few weeks, talk to your doctor so that problems can be diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Salivary glands cancers are generally treated with surgery. Many patients receive a combination of treatments including radiation therapy,